Okay, YouTubers, it's the 13th Thursday, so it's almost time for Physics Fun. I'm recording it today because um, it's not Friday and I'm going to be a bit busy tomorrow. So I thought, what am I going to do for the 900th video of my channel? And I thought I would share to you what I have here. So this came all the way from China in the summer holiday. And I've been itching to get it out and do cool stuff with it. You might have seen it in the cornflake video. What is it? It's got all its own protection. It looks like some sort of steel. A bit shiny though. Well, this is a neodymium magnet, but it's pretty big. Look, I'll show you a normal size. That's a normal size magnet. Put this one next to it. That's the sort of size it is. So this is big. Okay, I could pretend that it was super massive. Look. There's another magnet. That's a really tiny one though. Okay, so let's just have a little explore of this guy before we do anything else. So, if that's our north, let's use the other one, it's less likely to crack it. So, north is attracted, south, oh, now is it? Ah, south is attracted there. Let's try that again then. Oh, that's kind of repelled. So, that's attracted, that's repelled. So, this magnet has its field. Let's try it again. If that's north, feel coming out of there, going into there. So it's a bit of an unusual one. It's not on the side. So any, any stuff on the side is going to be a bit different. So, well, let's have a think about what we can do with this. Well, oh, what have we got here? Test tube of iron filings. Oh, there you go. Well, we can see attraction. It clearly wants to attract there, I'm kind of rolling it around. And look, actually, although this is a really big test tube, look, that's that. That's not coming off until I do that. And then if I go the other way, let's go gentle. If you're not careful, you crack these. So look, again, pull in hard. So, iron violets. More iron violets. That's one pot. There we go. So we can do it that way, or better still, maybe this way. Give them a shake. Now I wonder, there's one pot. There's another pot. Clearly having an influence. Think it'll do a third? Wow. Oh wow, that's amazing. Look at that. It does a third one. So it will do iron filings. What about a fourth one maybe? Fourth one? Yep, and it's done a fourth one. So it's making them all stand on end. You can hopefully see there on an angle, they're all standing on end. That is pretty incredible. So that field is extending really far out, isn't it? The standard magnet's pretty rubbish. So let's look at this little guy. So what can that do? One, two, or you know, maybe not a lot more. Now, what's this thing about? Okay, so it's a little bit of fluid. It's my filings, and you can do this, and you get a field. Okay, exciting. A little bit exciting. Okay, let's try this guy though. This remember this is the face, isn't it? Let's give it another shake. Hold on. Keep the magnet out of the way. So let's get a random shake. So there you go, a few bubbles. Let me get rid of the bubbles. There. Okay, so nothing much is happening. Here we go. So we're some distance away. Closer, closer. Look at that pull power of attraction. And there we go. That's crazy. And I can actually, if I drop some of the filings, we are picking up literally everything, and they're literally rushing in there. Look at that attraction power. That is, that's serious. And if I move it around, look, I reckon, let's go down a bit, I can pull up every last piece of iron in this little toy. Wow. That's what we call magnetic cleaning. So you could use this in your central heating system, couldn't you? Or your car to pick up little bits of engine uh, metal that come off. That is literally all the iron filings gone, isn't it? We would not be able to do that with a magnet that was weak. Now we could move it around a bit. If I come in a bit closer on an angle, you might see the three-dimensional effect. That's fairly cool, isn't it? And I can just like, so we can put it around. And then, last little one for a little bit of fun. Random bits of metal. Whoa. They're definitely lining up, aren't they? In line with the field line, so we can move it around. And watch it move. 
So there you go, a little bit of physics fun on a Thursday. A little bit of a longer video because it's our 900th video. So if you like it, please subscribe and share it. Because there'll be more to follow. We've got loads of ideas for the upcoming uh, term.